Welcome to our lesson about pipe routing. Pipe routing is very similar to tubing routing. First, let's go to the library. Let's expand the library panel, expand routing, and piping. Let's look in flanges. Here I'm going to use a socket weld flange, and I'll drop it right about here. I'm going to use a 2-inch configuration. The NPS, by the way, stands for nominal pipe size. OK, I've made my configuration selection. Let's click OK. The Route Properties Property Manager opens. It's very similar to the Property Manager that we saw in tubing routing. Under Base Configuration, I'll select a 2-inch pipe, Schedule 40. That's what the SCH stands for. Basically, this reflects the wall thickness. Now let's take a look at the Ben's Elbow section. We can choose Always Use Elbows, Always Form Bends, or Prompt for Selection. If we always form bends, then we can enter our bend radius. Let's prompt for selection. Under the Base Configuration drop-down menu, we can select an Elbow Configuration. We'll leave it at Prompt for Selection. Let's scroll down the Property Manager. Under Options, I'm going to leave Automatically Create Fillets checked. When I check this option, I'll create sketch fillets at sketch intersections and where the elbow is created. Let's click OK now. And let's bring in a second flange. Here I'll use a second configuration. OK. And let's activate the line tool. And I'll simply connect the two stubs with a line. Let's exit the sketch. Now we've got the Bends Elbows dialog window open. Let's select Schedule 40 for the first elbow. OK. And for the second elbow, let's select Schedule 160 for demonstration purposes. Let's click OK. And exit Part Editing Mode. Let's activate a section view. In the section view, we can see the difference in the elbow wall thickness. Let's cancel out of the section view. And this concludes our lesson about pipe routing.